So what's the right answer? When you're the person not hitting the third shot, should you get to the kitchen line immediately? Ah, uh, it depends. Should you sprint up there? Should you stay back and be more patient? Uh, it depends. There's three questions you have to consider when you're the one not hitting the third shot drive in order to make good decisions and play the points out well. Number one is, who are we? Number two is, who are they? And number three is, where was the return hit? Okay, so let's use those three questions as we go through here. All right, there's a serve. The return, the return's pretty deep. Where's it hit? It's hit to Andre Diescu's backhand. Okay, so De Villiers is patient to get in. Takes his time right here. The bottom team, DSQ and De Villiers, are clearly at a disadvantage. They're behind in the point because they're at the baseline and their opponents are at the kitchen. It's going to be hard to win this point unless they can get back up to the kitchen, which is what they're going to try to do right here. They're patient to the kitchen. Who are we? Who are they? Where was the return hit? And here's another example. Great return. Who are we? Who are they? Where was the return hit? Okay, the return is hit deep here, but again, notice what Leia Jansen, bottom left, is doing. She's getting vision right now. She's creeping in, all right, but she's not going too fast because if the ball is hit high, it's a mistake so many beginners hit. If this ball was hit really high and she continued to move toward the kitchen line, she would get pummeled at her feet. If it's hit high, she can back up. Here, watch this. Oh, that one is hit a little bit high. Watch what she does. Takes a step back. Let's watch that one more time. Okay. She knows it's high. She gets vision. She makes the decision to back up. Here's another clip. Here we're seeing Leah Jansen drive a third shot. Who are we? Who are they? Where was the return hits? Okay. Here's the return. She's on her back foot because the return was deep. Look at Elise Jones here. And I'm going to give you two more things to think about. When you're the player not hitting the third shot drop, you want to do two things. You want to get vision so you can, number two, make a decision. Get vision so you can make a decision. Okay? Elise Jones is not the one hitting the third. As the ball flies in here, she gets vision right there on what her partner's about to do, what type of shot she's about to hit. Then she makes a decision. She's patient to get towards the kitchen line. They neutralize. They get aggressive at the kitchen. Here's another example. Different situation, though. We have Catherine Parento and Annalie Waters at the bottom of your screen. We have Catherine Parento who's hitting the serve, okay? We also see that Catherine's gonna hit the third. Let's go slow motion here. As Catherine goes to hit the third, look at Annalise. She's getting vision, but Annalise's a different player. She's probably one of the best in the world at crashing toward the kitchen line and getting aggressive. So your paddle come up there and getting aggressive, looking to apply pressure. Okay, we'll see another example here, but she does something different. Where's the return go? It goes to Ben Johns' backhand. He doesn't tend to drive that backhand, on doubles, Annalie knows that, so she's a little more patient. She doesn't crash as hard. Works her way up, she's patient. They get there, they neutralize, they're in a point. Here's a different situation. We're gonna see Annalie playing with her mom. This time we see her crash and apply a ton of pressure. Watch this, all right? She gets vision, Lee Waters drives it. Look at Annalie, she gets there, she split steps. She applies pressure. That's one of the ways that you can apply pressure is you can get up to the kitchen. But again, who is your partner and what's their skill set? Do they have a good drive? What's your skill set? Do you have a good crash, close, and finish? Here's one of the dangers of getting up to the kitchen line too fast, something you got to be considerate of. Catherine Parento with the serve. Here's the third shot. She goes to drive it. Annalie crashes hard. Great block winner here from Elise Jones. Let's watch that one more time. Annalie does a good job. All right, this is one of the dangers for you. Annalise's probabilities of this, they don't have, this doesn't happen a ton with Annalise. She tends to apply pressure and cover that ball well. It was a great shot by Elise Jones. But when you're playing, if you find yourself running to the kitchen line and getting beat on 70% of your points, stop doing it. Stay back. Be more patient. Let's go to another clip. Different player, Dylan Frazier. All right, J.W. Johnson here with the Third shot, look at Dylan Frazier, eyes on the ball. He gets vision so he can make a decision. Should I move forward or should I stay back? Okay. It was a good drop. He notices it right away. He gets forward. Here's another example. JW with the serve. JW, again, if, you're, if you know your partner doesn't miss many thirds, you can creep in a little bit more. If your partner's really bad at thirds, stay back a little bit more. Okay, I'll watch that one more time. Excuse me, I think actually Dylan Frazier served it. Yep, he does. He serves it, Ignatowicz with the return, look at him get vision. He's like walking up, a little burst of speed, gets up there to the kitchen. They get aggressive at the kitchen, they win the point. Here's another example, Frazier with the serve. Ooh, I like this. Okay, so check this out. The last two, we saw Frazier move up 
pretty quickly. He doesn't pause, but this time, Frazier gets vision. Look at that. Gets vision right there. This drive is just slightly high, right? Anytime a drive is high, right, Tyson's able to hit down on it, right? So Frazier pauses where he's at. Keep your eyes here on Frazier, bottom right of your screen. Third shot from JW comes. He pauses. He gives himself time and space. Boom. Mistake happens on the other side. Now on the flip side for Frazier, this time DJ Young serves the ball, okay? So Riley Newman with the return. Boom. That's a short return. Who are we? Who are they? Where was the return hit? Let's see an example here. Here's the return by Riley Newman. On this return, okay, ball comes short. They recognize and they say, we're going. I was at this match. It was also cold weather. Ball f tends to get harder in cold weather, which means it flies faster. So a lot of times you want to rip more in cold weather because it's harder to hit drop shots. Third shot drops, that is. Okay, so let's see it. Ball is hit short. Look at Dylan Frazier. He's getting there fast. He's in a split step. He's ready to be aggressive and to attack. Boom, and they win the point. So what's the right answer? When you're the person not hitting the third shot, should you get to the kitchen line immediately? Ah, it depends. Should you sprint up there? Should you stay back and be more patient? Uh, it depends. For the beginners watching, I would encourage you to be more patient getting up to the kitchen line because your partner hitting the third shot oftentimes isn't as consistent yet because they haven't practiced enough. By staying in points longer, your opponents will make more mistakes. Minimize unforced errors. Be conscious. Be thinking, who are we? Who are they? Where was the return hit? And you'll put yourself in a better position to be successful. These are the things that most aren't thinking about, but now you will be. Good luck and try this on the next time you go out and play.